My name is Mark Brackett. I am a professor at the Yale Child Study Center, the director of the Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence, and the author of the book, Permission to Feel. Historically, people viewed emotions and emotional intelligence as soft skills. What we now know is that these soft skills are actually harder than the hard skills, and that they're critically important for success in life. What that means is that our emotion system drives our attentional capacity, our ability to learn. Our emotion system is what's behind good decision making. It's what's behind healthy relationships. It's what helps us have good mental health. And importantly, our ability to use our emotions wisely is what helps us perform academically and to be creative in life. In our research with high school students, we find that they say they're mostly tired, they're bored and they're stressed. One of the top reasons for those negative emotions is that they don't believe and they don't feel like learning is relevant and meaningful to their goals in life. And what we're learning is that when we can help students identify their purpose and their passion and make learning more relevant to what they want to achieve in life, they're going to experience many more positive emotions. Research that we and other people have conducted over the last couple of years has shown that the stress levels of our college students are higher than they've ever been before. As many as 60% of students say they feel stressed each day, 40% feel depressed. We just have to figure out how to support our students better. As a matter of fact, there's been about a 20% increase each year in students seeking treatment for mental health problems. What my research shows also is that our students are not even skilled at identifying their feelings. They say they're stressed, but they're actually feeling envious. And when I ask people, what are the solutions that you're working on? What I find is that they're trying quick fixes for dealing with their feelings. And also what I'm finding is that they're just incredibly lonely. So in addition to helping our students achieve academically, we need to support them in finding the strategies to manage their feelings to build positive relationships so that they can achieve their goals. And what I appreciate most about command education is that they're teaching these skills to the students they're working with. I think one of the big challenges that students face is the tremendous pressure they're under and they feel from their parents to be academically successful. And my hope, and honestly not just my hope, my push, is to get parents to really understand that success is much broader than academics. It has to do with the decisions their children make. It has to do with the quality of their relationships. And importantly, it has to do with their mental and physical health and their overall well-being.